How to create your own function in R. Hi. My name is Muhammad Rifi. I am a professor of mathematics and statistics. Functions are the building blocks of any program in R. They usually contain loops and if statements. I will show you in this video how to create functions. Choose a suitable name for your function. Then write it this way. Let's call our function h. h equals function and write the arguments of the function between two parentheses like this. Now, start curly two brackets and write the body of the function between them. Since we want our function to square its argument, we just write return x2, which means return the square of the number x. That's it. Let's try it. h minus 3 gives us 9. h 3 gives us 9, 2. h 19 gives us 361. Now, let's write a more complicated function that returns. The case of its argument, a positive number, a negative number, or a zero number, write the arguments that you will use between the parentheses. Then write the body of the function between curly brackets. g equals function, x. If x is less than 0, print, negative number. If x is greater than 0, print, positive number. If x is equal to 0, print, 0 number. No, let's try this function. g of minus 8 gives us negative number g of 8 gives us positive number. g of 0 gives us 0 number. The same function g can be written in a handy way using a series of if, else if, and else statements like this. Now let's write a function that counts the number of characters in a string using the R function char. We call this function number char. We proceed like this. Number char equals function, string. Number equals char of a string. Return char. When we use how are you, for the string, the number char, function gives us 12, that is, the number of characters, in the string including what spaces the question mark. Now, how to not include what spaces and punctuation marks. From the characters that we need to count, we simply use the r function j sub to get rid of the white spaces like this. String 2 equals j sub of a space between the two quotation marks and nothing between the second pair of quotation marks and then apply the sub function to string 1. Now, to remove the question mark, we simply use the sub functions like this. String 3 equals sub of the question mark between the first pair of quotation marks and then nothing between the second quotation marks, and then the name of the string like this.
we put all of these statements in our number char function. Like this. Now try it. That's it. Goodbye.